Hillary Clinton has been accused of being a career politician. But if her political career began in the Senate in 2001, her political roots run much deeper and decades earlier in Arkansas. Lisa Fletcher went to Little Rock. I don't have a political agenda. My days of working are over. I'm retired. I don't need a job in Washington. Don't want one. But I've known this woman for 35, 40 years, and I trust her with my life. Former Little Rock Mayor Buddy Valines has put on thousands of miles crisscrossing the United States at his own expense as one of the Arkansas travelers, a group of friends that's campaigned for one or the other of the Clintons since 1992. What's the most important thing you can tell a person about Hillary Clinton when you knock on their door? If you want someone who will get up every morning thinking about what they could do to make the lives of our people, our children, men and women better, and will do the work and thought it takes to make it happen, vote for Hillary Clinton. Patty Kreiner was working at Bill Clinton's campaign office in Little Rock in 1974, the day Hillary arrived. Hillary stuck her head in and she said, Patty, and I said, Hillary, and she came in and we hugged and we've been hugging ever since. Kreiner says it was obvious then there was nothing ordinary about Hillary Clinton. When she came to Arkansas and was an activist, most of the governor's wives had never worked, had never held jobs. Clinton worked at a law firm, taught at the law school, and Kreiner says every time she saw a need in the community, added it to her to-do list. She realized that there was no such thing as the legal defense fund in Fayetteville. So she started the legal aid clinic. She called me and said, I'm going to establish the Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families. Skip Rutherford is the dean of the Clinton School of Public Service. She led the effort to establish the first neonatal intensive care unit at Children's Hospital, which opened in 1980. And she was pregnant with Chelsea at the time, but she made the effort to, to and it opened. It started with six bassinets in 1980. Today it has 104 beds. Hillary has been criticized sometimes for not emotionally connecting with people in a way that some other political candidates have managed to do. Why do you think that is? Someone said to me, well, she's not like Bill Clinton. And I said, that's right. But in her own way, she's better. I mean, she's got her strengths. Part of that is just the personality, but goodness gracious, to be prepared to run for president and to serve. You're not going to find anybody in better. And the next president of the United States, Bill Clinton. In 1992, Hillary Clinton left Arkansas, but didn't leave her friends. They say she's grown, but hasn't changed. But now, they're counting on her to change the course of history. It's personal with me. I have two daughters and a granddaughter and two grandsons. I want a woman to be president because I want to tell my little granddaughter what I couldn't tell my daughters, that you can grow up and be president. There's nothing now saying that you can. Cheryl, a few more personal footnotes from her friends. They tell me that Hillary is an uber competitive Scrabble and Boggle player. Uh, they all say that she is absolutely, without a doubt, the worst singer ever. Okay. And they love her sense of humor, but they say her laugh is so big it enters the room before she does. That we know. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Lisa.